Hey everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here and I do these videos just to educate women more on your whole food nutrition, how you can match that to your body's own unique physiology to get and keep a better result. Isn't that amazing? What a what an interesting concept, right? That like the female body changes throughout the month and so that you would align with what your system needs every week of the month. Mm-hmm. Amazing! I'm the author of the book, The Female Fat Solution, which is a uh, number one new release and an Amazon bestseller. And this is on Amazon. Yay. And The Female Menopause Solution coming out very, very soon. In the comments, there is a wait list you can get on to know exactly when this drops live if you want the paperback. The Kindle is already available for pre-order. So that's exciting. Um, I'm also the um, creator of the 12-week you know, challenge for women. Um, so I have the Female Health Solution Journal that goes along with the 12 week challenge. I have a podcast, The Female Health Solution, and then my YouTube channel is Dr. Beth Westy, where you can learn about all things women with all of the history of videos that I have done. Now, tonight we're gonna be talking about um, thyroid and menopause. And I left this up here because I knew I was gonna be talking about this and I wanted to cover this again in detail. So this is from yesterday. Oh, by the way, do you guys like my new sweatshirt? Lake State Kombucha. This is like the comfiest sweatshirt ever. It's amazing. I really like the color and it's one of those like super, super soft and fuzzy. Mm, it's delicious, yes, yes. Um, ooh, Erica, you have a question already. Let's. Let me see all of it. Okay. You were just watching me on YouTube. See, that's amazing. Um, is working out for weight loss, is working out for weight lost gained from hormone imbalance a waste of time while trying to balance hormones? Ooh, okay. That's a really great, great question. So, and this, this also pertains to women with thyroid issues and menopause and all of these things, right? A lot of time it can feel like that. I'm trying to work out. I'm trying to, you know, do all of these healthy things for my system and my body, but I feel like I'm getting nowhere because I'm putting in all this effort and nothing's happening. Now, of course, people say when you're looking to just lose weight, it's 80, 20, 80% 80 nutrition, 20% exercise. Yay. Keep in mind that is also for a typical healthy body right? For a lot of women, if you have hormonal issues, if you have any type of autoimmune issue, all of these things, your body is going to be in a nutrient depletion. Um, I've got some really fun stuff coming up, you know, podcast wise, everything else. But the other thing to kind of realize and wrap your head around is that even if you, if you've been on birth control in the past, that can actually leach nutrients from your body. And I say leach nutrients, I mean, like suck the nutrients from you so you're left with less than a shell of what you normally would have. That's gonna affect how your immune system functions, how your gut health functions, how well you can build and maintain lean muscle, and all those things will affect the female body's ability to actually burn fat. So when people talk about fat burning, oh, do all this stuff, you're gonna burn fat, you're gonna exercise and burn fat, la la la, cool. But not for women that are not at the right place in their health. So that's why I have the 12 week challenge. That is why I go through this with women. It is not a typical like, oh, follow this really clean meal guide and you'll lose weight. No, I work with women that honestly, they're tougher cases. They have a harder time. And a lot of the time we spend the first month flooding the body with nutrients, resetting a lot of things, detoxing excess hormone, detoxing a lot of other crap in your system so that when you do something different when you actually do implement a metabolism metabolism boosting or fat burning technique it actually works and it works for you weird right mm -hmm. yeah so overall the one thing with exercise and this is a general statement right so keep that in mind um but if you know if we were to like work together that's something i can tailor and tweak and customize per you specifically so you get there faster for a lot of women, when your body's nutritionally depleted and you have all these other hormone things going on, doing some type of physical activity is good, right? Like exercise is good, you should be doing exercise, yay, right? But here's where the problem comes in. Are you doing too much or too little? Because if you do too much, you can add more cortisol to your system, which then your body has to deal with and get over, versus if you're not doing enough, you're not gonna actually maintain any muscle tissue. So there's kind of a fine line that you have to walk when you're doing that. And one of the most important things for exercise for women is, I mean, really listening to your body. How do you feel? Does it take you like four days to recover from a workout? 
it shouldn't. That's not normal. That's a problem, right? And there's specific nutrient timing things that I help women with in the 12 week challenge around your workouts. These are things you should be doing before, during and after your workout. And that can change throughout the month with your cycle based on what it needs. Yes. Ah, yes. So that's some important things to realize that it's not just about the exercise. It's not about getting to the gym more times. It is about what your system needs specifically. It is about getting your system the right nutrients before, during, and after. So it is more, um, you know, it, it recovers better. It builds and it doesn't break things down because it's super easy to break things down when the female body is nutrient depleted, stressed, toxic, taxed, and has hormonal issues, immune issues, gut issues, all of these things. Yay. It's kind of fun, right? I, sometimes I feel bad that I'm just like, oh, yeah, this is really terrible to go through. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so essentially, it's going to take a while, right? And, and the other thing, though, to keep in mind, though, is that what you're not crazy, right? This is you're not just making this up. You know, this is a real thing. And it's a whole different journey to go through for you. And, and it's I want to say so it's not a waste of time, you know, because a lot of women feel like that. I feel like I'm crazy. I feel like I'm making this up. I feel like I am just on this whole different road and all these other people are doing these things and it's fine. I mean, like good, right? Like that a lot of this basic stuff works for them and works for women who don't have hormonal issues, who don't have extreme stress, who don't have this whole, you know, all these things going on. But if you fall into that category where you are going to need something different, something custom, addressing your nutrient depletion, addressing what your system needs at the right time, and then you're going to move forward. Whole different result then. Whole different result. Um, so that's, that's one of the biggest things too. Again, it's not that you're doing wrong stuff. You're following very basic stuff and you need something more custom. Yeah. It just won't, it won't work the same. It won't work the same. You're going to feel like you're going to the gym and nothing's happening. Um, when you can still go to the gym, it'll just be different workouts, different recovery time, different nutrient timing for that. And then wait until your body gets to a point where it's healthy and strong enough to really get back to it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thyroid and women. And we're going to talk about menopause and everything too. Mm -hmm. First off, before I start diving into this again, one thing you need to realize, um, and again, this, this book is coming out. It's almost a week and a half now. Ooh, yeah. Um, when we talk about menopause, and thyroid, so many of the symptoms cross over and can be confusing and can feel like, I'm not sure which one it is. Am I going through menopause or am I having a thyroid issue? Or is it a little bit of both? And if it is both, if you're like, well, I am going through perimenopause or I'm, I'm in menopause and I'm having this thyroid issue, yes, okay. Does that make it worse for me? It can, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm, yeah. Mm, you know, cause all the things are the same, right? You can have hair loss with hypothyroidism and then your hair can thin and you can get bald patches with the hormone change with menopause. Why? Why you ask? <laughs> Estrogen is the answer. So here we go. Um, here is the little, you know, oh, I didn't even write day one and 14. You guys know, right? This is how I always draw this day one, day 14, day 28, right there. Um, this is the hormonal cycle for women. And typically estrogen rises here and then lowers here and progesterone's higher here. But estrogen is, is in charge of, you know, increasing energy, muscle tissue growth. Um, it is um, going to help, you know, again, recovery. So your hair is going to be stronger, nails, all that stuff. So when estrogen starts to decline at a lower right? You're now at like this level here, right? This isn't exact, right? This is, use this for an illustrative purpose, right? You're not having that big muscle growth. You're not having all of those other things boost all the things that estrogen is primarily in charge of, you know, hunger, mood, energy, sex drive as well, right? That's a big job for estrogen here. So when that lowers and your estrogen is lower, you're going to have those menopausal symptoms and you can have, you know, hot flashes or temperature, you know, issues, um, you know, the skin issues, right? All those things where you're like, okay, yeah, menopause, menopause, right. Duh. Menopause. 
but then you look at thyroid and the fact that hypothyroid can actually decrease your estrogen and your testosterone even more. So that little bit of estrogen you were supposed to have here, pfft, tanks even more, which means that all these other things here are going to be worse or, or you know, like feel worse to you. Right? So again, thyroid stuff, one in eight women will have a thyroid issue in their, at some point in their life. That's, that's pretty common, right? causes for the low thyroid issue, you know, the stress, decreased immune system, nutrient, nutrient depletion, huge toxicity. Again, I covered this in the video yesterday. Um, but again, it's in your, your thyroid is your thermostat charging your temp or in charge of your temperature, your hunger, you know, satisfaction, your mood, right? This is not just like women being hormonal or whatever. This is a real thing. Like you can't feel good. Like you should, if you have thyroid issues, um, energy, really big energy problems. So again, with working out, all that stuff comes into play there and sex drive again. So hypothyroid is going to decrease your estrogen. You go through, so you have a thyroid problem and a lot of women can have thyroid problems and not realize it. And then, and then you go through menopause and it tanks even more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. So for women in menopause that also have thyroid issues, um, you can get blood tests. You can figure out where those numbers are exactly. Um, pretty fast and easy to do. Uh, the LH and FSH, those are luteinizing hormone and follicular stimulating hormone. Um, those are two hormones in your body also that change when you go through menopause that you can get a blood test for as well. Pretty simple, quick, easy, right? Not expensive, covered by insurance, all those good things, right? Um, but that can tell you some exact markers and at least for you to watch over time so that you're not feeling like, oh my gosh, I'm doing all this clean eating, I'm doing all these, you know, X, Y, and Z. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's not just, following a clean eating plan is not going to cut it. It is not going to be the end all be all for you. I wish it was. It just, it's just not gonna, you know. Um, yes, and uh, Erica, please do a video on low progesterone with elevated estrogen. <gasps> and high testosterone, what's going on? Oh my gosh, you know what's funny is I actually have that on a post-it for my video tomorrow, Erica. <laughs> um, that sounds like estrogen dominance though. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna talk about estrogen dominance, what that is and how that messes with your hormones and your body and your weight and other hormonal things in your system. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, because we're, okay, slightly off subject, but again, we'll cover this tomorrow when you talk about high testosterone levels. I mean, women can get like, facial hair and things like that, right? And different things can happen in your body that are, right? Okay. So we'll cover all that tomorrow. That's going to be a super, super fun video. Super fun. Yes. Um, okay. But okay. So the thyroid, menopause, all these other things, that's a double whammy. Just doing a regular protocol isn't enough. It's not an, that, and again, it's not about that protocol being a bad protocol. It is just not the right fit for what your system needs, right? Square peg, round hole. The system with menopause, the system with thyroid issues, and women in general, right? We need different nutrients throughout the month, throughout our lifetimes, to match with what our physiology is. And if we're not matching that, it's super easy for our bodies to get depleted then over time. Yeah, especially with stress, toxicity, right? Some of these things here too, mm -hmm. and then being on, you know, birth control that just will deplete your nutrients even faster than anything else. Ah, oh, what? I'm going to start sweating because <laughs> I'm just get so about it. So anyway, this is what I got for you guys today. I wanted to cover this specifically for menopause and thyroid because they overlap so much because so many women do have this, you know, suffer from this, have both of them at the same time and they cross over and it can be confusing. So the simple answer is yes, it, it can be both of them and it does make it worse. And you do need something custom for you. Rebuild your nutrients, rebuild your system, you know, take into account that your body will need different nutrient timing when you're working out because your body then can recover better. You just get everything your system needs along the way to really get to your result. I mean, so you feel better, so you can lose weight, so you don't feel like you're crazy just on the treadmill all day long with nothing happening. Whole different result, yes. All right, that's what I got for you guys today. Um, thanks for tuning in. If you found this helpful, I would so love and appreciate you clicking that share button. 
share it with people that you know that need this message and stay tuned tomorrow for talking about estrogen dominance. All right. Have a great rest of your night.